Ladies and gentlemen, I was asked to check out this Prime Icon Moments under the name of Patrick Cliver. So I bought him. He's got four star, five star combination, which is really nice. High low work rates, which are perfect for a striker. He's got a really well rounded card with good passing, very good shooting, good pace. Physicals are magnificent. Don't get me wrong. This is the team I used him in, so I definitely had some. I had the defense covered with Prime Icon Moments Maldini, and I used him in Foot Champions. Listen, I thought he was fantastic. His attacking positioning was fantastic, and then his finishing with a five star weak foot. Wow. Very, very clinical. And can I just say how strong he was? Many, many times I saw him surrounded by centre backs, and he just shrugged them off as though they're not even there, and he got the ball at the back of the net. So this is definitely a very, very good icon. And to get him for under 400,000 coins, I picked him up precisely. At 380,000 coins. I think that is a bit of a bargain. I would say this to you guys. Look at the attack positioning. Look at the strength. And from there, bam. Lovely, lovely finish. I love this icon. Because he's got very good strength. He's very physical. He's genetically gifted. You can see he's definitely got a physique on him. Ideal for the striker position. Then on top of that, he's got good passing as well. And you see here. Lovely, lovely finish. So, definitely, five-star weak foot is the way forward at the moment. I don't know what's going on with FIFA, but it's kind of quite difficult to finish. It's nice to have a five-star weak foot option. Now, can I just say, sometimes on the ball, he did feel clunky. And I've got a nickname for this guy, Clunkvert. Yeah, very funny. I know. It's hilarious. I know. I can see you guys laughing. But listen, maybe the best bet isn't to dribble with him. Maybe the best bet isn't to wiggle around as though his name are. Just give him a through ball. Get him in position. And listen, he gets the ball at the back of the net. I mean, that was a nice finesse shot right there. So, there's definitely desirability with this card. The fact that he's such a good finisher. And look at the attack positioning. He's gone there. He's gone. And once he's gone, you ain't catching him back. Because even if you catch him back, he's going to shrug you off the ball. He's that powerful. You can see here again here. Raul, lovely, lovely chip one there. And then, bam, on the volley. On the volley at the back of the net. Absolutely sensational stuff there from the big man, Patrick Clivert. And you see on the ball here, look at that. Look at the attack positioning. Forget about everything else. Forget about the pass. Knowing where to be at the right time is what the striker position is all about. Lovely pass right there to Ricardo Caresma. And Ricardo Caresma, lovely ball roll. I'm going to pass that to Raul and get that ball at the back of the net. So listen, bar his ability to dribble very well, his agility and balance... Besides that, I think he's very well priced. Very well priced. I don't think you can fault this card. I mean, look here. He scores a very, very nice goal. But this is a fluke, you know. I can't lie. I mean, I dribble past everybody and score. But this is an, an everyday occurrence that you're going to get with this kind of card. His agility and balance is definitely a problem. But I think value for coins is definitely there. I think he's really well priced. I think I'm going to happily give this card... A 9.1 out of 10. I think value for coins is sensational. I think he's a bagsman. And I think if you're on a budget, why not get this fantastic striker?